Hi everyone, it's Elena from JetBrains, and today I'm going to give you a quick overview of Datalore Enterprise. Datalore Enterprise is a data science notebook platform for teams, which you can host on premises or in the cloud. Most of your work in Datalore happens inside notebooks. Notebooks in Datalore are code centric and Jupyter compatible. Data scientists tend to spend a lot of time prototyping models and cleaning up data. That's why we have integrated excellent coding assistance to help you write higher quality code with less effort. When writing Python code, you have access to code completion, documentation pop-ups, quick fixes, and refactorings. For each data frame, you will also get out-of-the-box visualizations that help you quickly grasp the trends in your data. You can continue building production-ready visualizations in Python code or in dedicated chart cells. In addition to Python, Datalore also supports Scala, Kotlin, and R, providing smart code completion for all of these languages. Probably one of the most important Datalore features is notebook sharing. You can share a notebook with colleagues simply by sending them a link or email invitation and specifying the access rights either view or edit. Collaborators can then work on your code with you and you can help each other solve tough data questions in real time. The data, environment and computation state will be shared automatically. When collaborating on the notebook, you can keep track of changes using the internal versioning tool. To try Datalore in your team, request a one month free trial license on our website or by emailing us at dataloreenterprise.jetbrains.com. Now let's talk about the ways you can fetch your data in a notebook in Datalore. First, Datalore comes with integrated file store. You can drag and drop your data into the notebook or workspace files, or you can upload data from code. All of the work artifacts will be stored in one place. Second, Datalore allows you to connect to various types of databases through the UI and then reuse these connections across the other notebooks. You can also directly query these databases using SQL cells. For SQL, you will get syntax highlighting and code completion based on the introspected database tables. SQL query results will be automatically saved to a Pandas data frame, and you will be able to continue working on them with Python. Third, Datalore allows you to mount AWS S3 and GCS buckets as folders. Mounting other storage types is possible on the enterprise plan. Please contact our team at datalorenterprise.jetbrains.com and request information about your data source type. Let's talk about configuring the environment. Each notebook in Datalore has an isolated environment, which prevents the whole notebook service from crashing because of some dependency issue in one notebook. When starting work on a notebook, you can select a pre-configured base environment that has all of the packages pre installed. On the enterprise plan, you can configure custom base environments from Docker images so that your team members can forget about dealing with dependency management and start analyzing data right away. If you want to install more packages, you can do so using a package manager. Datalore supports both pip and conda. You can search for any package, take a look at its documentation, and choose the version you want to install. The packages you install via package manager persist when you close the notebook. You can also attach custom packages that are available in Git repositories to your notebook. If you if you have any additional tools that aren't bundled in the base environment, you can install them using either the integrated terminal or initialization scripts. When it comes to sharing the results of your data science work, Datalore helps you turn your notebooks into interactive reports. You can configure cell visibility options and hide specific code inputs to make your work more accessible to non-tech people. To make your notebook more interactive, you can also add drop-downs, sliders, text inputs, or chart cells and publish it as a report. Sharing this report is simple. Just send a public link to your stakeholders. They will see their own copy of the notebook and they'll be able to change the controls and get an updated version. Want to learn more about the product's features? You can schedule a demo with the Datalore team right away and ask any questions you have. Now let's talk about computational resources. Datalore Enterprise allows you to connect your private cloud or on-premises computational resources and make them available to users from the UI. To control the hardware utilization costs, you can configure internal resource usage plans and specify the limits for each team member. Datalore Enterprise is designed to help data scientists teams work together more efficiently. You can organize team projects in shared workspaces and always have up-to-date access to the team's data, notebooks, and reports in one place. You'll no longer have to worry about notebooks being left on local machines or merging conflicts when committing to Git. Everyone on your team will have real-time access to the latest versions of the project artifacts. By using workspace files, you can upload heavy datasets once and they will become available for each team member in their workspace notebooks.
Now let's talk about hosting and support options. Every data lawyer enterprise evaluator gets a one month free trial and a dedicated support channel where you can get help via phone call, video call, and email. With data lawyer enterprise, you can configure almost any possible method of user authentication to let your team seamlessly access data lore. The enterprise version includes JetBrains Hub, a module for connecting authentication providers. You can host data lawyer enterprise on any Kubernetes cluster, be it AKS, AKS, or an on premise. This one. Or you can install data lore in under 10 minutes using Docker. Thank you very much for watching. You can always find more info on our website, send an email to datalore or schedule a demo to ask questions about your specific use case.